What's going on, Showstoppers? Evan, the show here. Black Rider. And what is the name of this show? Weekly Snap. Yes, we got another special guest in the special. building. Special. They just get so specialer special. and specialer. Special. I know that's not special. a word. Mom, I'm sorry. Yeah. I know that's not a word. But we're talking about a content creator, a business owner, okay. a social media influencer. Okay. Uh, she's nearing the 15,000 mark almost almost there yeah. Yeah. I'm talking yeah, about <laughs> I'm talking about the founder of Urban Girl Magazine hey. Desiree Hadley now so that to people What's up, everyone? Was that a decent enough? That was amazing. That was, that was good. good. To have you with me all the time. I, I got you. I'm gonna introduce you to that everything. That's like Steve Harvey. Right. That's what. Listen. <laughs> I want that Steve Harvey money though. Hey, listen. Hey. Let's so what's it. going on this week, man? It's it's a lot of stuff going on. Um, let's start off like, did y'all see the solar eclipse? Yes. Um, you, you saw it. Sort of. I just saw it on TV. I I, I didn't see it. Cause I was looking up. <laughs> I was looking <laughs> for it and didn't see nothing. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, I got like a little photo, but what I saw, I seen the, the sun, you know, like five minutes after the eclipse, like completely. Okay. Yeah, but I seen the sun and then I seen like another little, I don't know, like, I'm gonna show you the picture. Okay, you show it to me later. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you later. <laughs> it was weird though. I think I got gypped though for my solar eclipse. Okay, oh, okay. It, 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 I think you had to be like more towards the southern states in order to see it, like North Carolina. Uh, and yeah. you got a better view of it. Uh, I, I guess. I wasn't interested. <laughs> I really wasn't. That's rough. No, so. I, I, I really was Nah, because I think, I think cause everybody was making a big That's deal That's God's handiwork it. it is, but like everybody was making such a big deal And then they were supposed to like fake pictures on it yeah, like, yeah, So I was yeah. like, nah, I don't want to see that Yeah, but, you know Anyway, uh, moving right along uh, Our boy Mystical We talked about him before Ooh, When we were talking yeah. about the transgender situation And then this came up He is, he, allegedly he was charged with uh, rape Right. Yeah. Well, well, in October of 2016, he um, allegedly raped somebody with with his um, friend or whatever. And but he had recently just turned himself in. Right. And then last night, uh, something else came up. They said that the woman admitted that she lied. Yeah. Um. I don't know, man. I think. I think this is one of them episodes that he's still like our black men, man. Oh, man. I think we back to that. Man. Back to that. Yeah. Uh, since we're there, we'll talk about a, a famous black man uh, <laughs> that's been in the news recently. Uh, the dude that got knocked and towed up by Muhammad Ali in Africa yeah. at one time. We oh, all have man. his grills. I'm still debating whether or not I should keep... No, I'm keeping that grill. <laughs> yeah, nah, that grill, that grill good, man. You can't. <laughs> but this is what happened. Allegedly, he said that he supports Trump. Or rather, that Trump is a good president. <laughs> what do y'all have to say about that? It's terrible. And we're talking about George Foreman, by the way, if you didn't catch that. I don't I mean, think I said his I mean, name. George Foreman, he must be like losing his mind at this point. Or something. Those hits to the head. I know. Something's <laughs> going on because there's no way he can look yeah. at Trump and his actions and think that he's a good president. Wow. That just doesn't make any sense. Well, you need for every one last one of his kids, George. So, I mean, it's, it's got to be something. <laughs> <laughs> something been wrong. Even the girl, right? The girl. Right. But look, I, might have, I think I have the statement right here. I posted it on a weekly snap earlier. I think it was yesterday. Um, it's a long statement. Wow. That's too much. Yeah. Just go to Weekly Snap. <laughs> go to at Weekly Snap on uh, Instagram. Follow. It. There's a picture of him and there's a picture of Donald Trump. But he, I mean, he was talking bad about Ka- Colin Kaepernick. Um, he was talking about Durant. That's crazy. He Ooh, called him right. Head. Exactly. <laughs> So it's, it's well, more politics in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. I, I was yeah, gonna right say it's why that. It it's why the money, because like now, like he retired. Um, well, he's making speak, money off the grills. He bro. gotta be making money off the grills. <laughs> them grills be popping though. I got one in my house. Yeah, <laughs> I think everybody got a grill. <laughs> I got the big one that right. you sit outside. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got the mini one too that I can travel with. So that means we can't boycott the grill. <laughs> no, we can't. I, we can't you, you, it's just, can we just have a conversation with him? <laughs> I, I think we need to talk to George, man. Right. Oh. We just gotta have a conversation with George. I'm just gonna bleed. Sand. He's insane right yeah. now. That's what I think. He, he, he's old now, so you know, he, you know, he's off his rock, rockers. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the, the the founder and creator of Urban Girl Magazine, and I, I saw a topic this week that isn't really trending, okay. uh, but I it, it it touched my heart. So I'm like. Okay, we, we need to really talk about this. So, 14 of the highest paid male actors make more than the highest paid female actor. Now, how does that, just hearing that, how does that make you feel? That makes me upset. Okay. Like, that's the topic that I'm, like, always, I'm passionate about that. I feel like women should get equal pay, they should be treated equally, and that's something I feel like we should be able to 
have that in 2017. There's no way, there's no reason why we should still be treated unequally, unequally. So that's a fact. I definitely, that makes me upset. Like, you know, sure. definitely yeah. makes me upset. Uh, okay. So and I'm trying to figure out what what exactly is the criteria like do they say oh no she's a woman we have we can pay her less is is that the conversation that hollywood is having i guess so i mean it happens everywhere though it happens in corporate america it happens in government it happens everywhere or even in certain government jobs women are expected to do the administrative type roles they're not really some people don't believe in women enough to give them those larger titles or those larger roles so i don't even feel like it's in a conversation i just feel like it's just the way yeah. people view the world and view women. I don't, even, I don't think they say, oh, she, that's Taraji. We're going to pay her less than Will Smith. I don't even think that's what it is because okay. Taraji works just as hard as Will, but absolutely and probably yeah. harder because we have to deal with harassment. We have to deal with judgment. We have to deal with all of these things as women. So you have to work twice as hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stay. And the fact that I think that's just the way people are, not the industry is programmed. Society is programmed. So it's not, it's unfortunate. It's not fair. So. Stereo, this, this stereotype, is like a, yeah. typecasted, like you know. I mean, well, you. Uh, I have an opinion on being typecasted, hmm. but we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a lot, man. Women are a minority. Like they're, they're mi- a minority. That's how the actually, country. actually, if you think about it, women are the majority. There's more women on this no, planet. No, no, than no, 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 no. What I mean by that is that that's how they treat. Them. Oh, okay. They treat them, treat women as a mon- minority. It's a, ma- they, they are the majority, but the as far as in value value um i believe that like the country treats um women as a minority henceforth like even a presidential election you know uh hillary clinton like i felt like she was she lost because she's a woman because she's a woman i absolutely believe oh yeah yeah um now it's it's crazy because women i always say women are the most powerful beings on this planet if they decide to do a couple of things yeah uh yeah. It's, it's pretty much a wrap. Yeah, uh, I, y- did y'all see Shaq? I did. See okay. I seen. A, I watch that. There's a message movies. there. Okay. There's something that men want from women. Okay. If women stop giving that to them, it's hmm. they can pretty much you control the world. Yeah. Hmm. I agree. I agree, <laughs> and maybe that's where we need to, as women, we need to band together and be more, um, you know, more stern. And like, men about to be mad at me, so I, I, I'm not even going to apologize for that. <laughs> it is what it is. But um, I'm, okay, so what's your goal with Urban Girl magazine? My goal with Urban Girl is to um, expand and to have a media outlet that puts forth a positive image for African American women women of color period so whether they're you know latino african-american women of color and just to create a platform where we can share our stories where we can um where urban women can not only learn about you know um beauty and fashion but also to show that the urban woman also cares about what's going on in the world and in the news as well so that's why we report on a lot of a lot of different topics we talk about some of everything we try to cover everything because we're not in the box, you know what I'm saying? Like I know a lot of people feel like, oh, you're from the urban area, you don't. But we're educated women, but we also have some swag. So my goal swag. is to just mm-hmm. influence the, the, the generations coming up, influence young. And women. you're doing it, yeah, in a positive way to have young girls grow up and think, know that they're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like now times are changing because when I was younger, we didn't have media outlets that spoke to us. I had Seventeen Magazine giving me hair tutorials, and I'm like. My, my, hair is do that. <laughs> my hair does not do that. <laughs> so I always right. had this goal of having a magazine because of that reason. But now, you know, the media field is expanding so much. We have more choices and, and Urban Girl is one of them. And I want to just expand it. I want it to cross the country. So can, so I can ask you one question. Okay. What's your, what is your direct message to the, to the young women now? Like, to the young women that you can do anything you want to do in this world. You're beautiful. You're smart. And it's okay to be black girl from the from the urban area from the hood absolutely okay dope Dope. so uh, i I think it's really i gotta really commend you because even with the the last issue that we talked about now you've empowered yourself and you're the boss so you can really you can you can uh what's the word you can really apply the whole method that you know there's equal pay so women get paid as much as men because you're the boss so initially you can make those decisions and i i I, thank you for that that's that's Mm -hmm. great and that's one of my that's one of my uh motivations the fact that i've been in the you know i've worked you know in the the nine to five job where women were not treated equally so i was like you know what I could do this myself. You know, yeah. I could decide right. to okay. yeah. hire women and pay them equally. So. And we're trying to do the same thing with our brothers uh, as far as, you know, being black and being fat <laughs> <laughs> in media is rough. <laughs> 
But anyway, um, we thank you so much for coming to Weekly Snap. Appreciate you. Anytime you want to come by, you can stop on by. Uh, we really got love for you. Uh, I'm Evan the Show. Black writer. And you're watching Weekly Snap? Yeah. Later show stoppers. <laughs>